prepping the food for the wedding on Sunday. That dedication and concentration. Look how cute. This is how we mark the bench so that the bride and groom knows which side they're going to sit. And yes, I know I showed you our church before, but to explain it a little bit better, the women, the ladies sit to one side and the men sit on the other side. So, and we all have our... Designated spaces, designated places, and it is a very huge place. And then up here you go either into the kitchen or there downstairs. Washrooms and storage places. And there we go, the dining room. Again, ladies sit on one side, men sit on the other side. The bride and groom get a fruit and candy basket at their wedding. And whoo, whoo, it's filled to the brim. People are really getting ready for the wedding. Everything gets done and cleaned. I mean, nice. So up until now, I was running around with our guys and girls filming pieces for the skit that they would recite. So <sighs> tomorrow is the wedding <laughs> and I still have four more parts to film. Yeah. Then I have to edit the whole thing. Don't push it off till the last minute, you guys. Don't push it off till the last minute. I almost scrapped that thing. Literally, today I almost called it quits, but I decided to push through. But we did decide to um, show it on Monday instead of on Sunday. 
It's wedding day today and we're gonna go get ready so that the kids can welcome in the bride. This is the couple's table. This is where the, the couple, the ministers and their family sits. And then this is where the rest of us sit. We're blowing up balloons that the kids wave and that they use when welcoming the bride. This is what I meant when I said putting up signs to welcome in the couple. We put them all along the road from when they first enter the colony. water This is fruit pizza. <laughs> Simple. 
No, seven, what's the time? Five after seven, ooh, I got a mess. And as you can tell, I just got up. I had to get up early to film the last, <laughs> to film the last piece for the, the last part for the PowerPoint. Okay, so I've been searching all morning for this projector and I finally found it. Hallelujah, I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do it. Amaris! It's getting there! It's working! Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. These are gonna be so good. It's a little bit like lifting a hammer. It's heavy this thing. Oops. You have to mark your watermelon. Otherwise, you're not gonna find them. Helping my cooking partner form her bread into loaves since it's her turn baking this week. So I now threw in my laundry, but since we are cleaning school at the moment, I set my alarm for ten my timer for ten minutes and I'm gonna be running back and forth cleaning school and doing the laundry. It's just the way it is around here. And I'm totally fine with it. I do not mind at all. I guess I should move because I only have 10 minutes. Although, to be completely honest, there's not a heck of a lot I can do with 10 minutes, but still, I'm gonna go do something. Tuesday and I didn't update you on the PowerPoint and how it went. It was absolutely atrocious. It was so horrible you have no idea. And I showed that to a colony of 125 people. I was so embarrassed. I just can't. I still can't believe I showed this thing. Okay, it was not that bad, but my audio. The only problem with the skit was the audio. Uh, we had we tried three different speakers, and still, the it was difficult to hear people speaking, and to hear what people were saying. And if you can't hear audio, then what do you get out of things like that? So I told them I would redo it and show it some other time, so that that they can actually get something out of it. Man, I was embarrassed with that thing. I was so embarrassed. You have no idea. But that's life. You live, you learn. This is something I am not overly enthused about. Not at all. I 
think now it's starting. And this week is my dishwashing week, which means that after everybody has eaten and gone home, we wash dishes. This has to be done at every lunch and every supper. The only time we don't have to do it is at breakfast. Oh. <sighs> Wiping the floors in case you didn't catch that. Good job, Giselle, good job. Trev finished the tables all on his own, but we painted the ends, just so that it looks nicer. A nicer finish. Every Thursday at lunch and every Saturday at supper, we have fries and the girls take turns making them for the cooks. Like, we, turn, we take turns, like, week-wise. This week is my week. So, they get up at 6 to pick strawberries. I get up to go chip because I also have to bake today. Today's Thursday, I have to get up and make, I have to make the dessert today, me and my partner, because we're cooking next week. <laughs>
まい Wow, it is so bright. So I literally just got home from the pool. I have to go back at four and lifeguard the kitties. Um, they, the kids swim at four every day. And we have a group, quite a crew actually, of certified lifeguards that take turns watching them while they swim. And it might not even be smart sitting here and trying to dry my hair because what is the point? Maybe we should move because it's too hot. Is there bacon left over for lunch? I don't even think so. <sighs> yogurt, granola, I don't have any yogurt. Ooh, I, ah, I might eat those. A little funky look. The last. I'm gonna make a vegan cereal bowl. They're actually quite good. Great. Well, at least I can still use half. You know what my dad just told me like two seconds ago? That ice cream just came. We buy pallets of ice cream. And they need the girls and the guys to help unload. So, since it's a vegan cereal bowl, Add milk. And there you have it. A very good vegan cereal bowl. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. We're not supposed to eat female or not. We always have to wear something on our head when eating. Female, it's disrespectful to eat without a head covering. And for males, it's disrespectful to eat with a covering. That's kind of a normal thing around these parts when you see people in plus 31 going with winter coats and gloves. Do you know how weird this looks and feels? It's plus 31 outside! with a bubbling record. <laughs> and we are now ready for round two of pool time. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> 